Hi everyone, I'm Laurenzio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Super Monkey Ball games for the Nintendo GameCube. So Super Monkey Ball has a simple premise. You play with a monkey in a ball and have to tilt the level so that the monkey gets to a certain point in the level. Sounds simple. Well, it isn't. Even if the first levels are pretty straightforward, the more you advance, the more complex the levels get. You can play with multiple characters and you can also select the difficulty level as many hard levels really are hard. Also the games have mini games like racing, billiards, golf, skydiving and these mini games are a lot of fun but they get even better if you play them with friends making the Super Monkey Ball experience great for both single player and multiplayer in a party for up to 4 people. As mini games in the first one you get Races, which are split into normal races, Grand Prix or Time Attacks, which makes the game like a racing game too, making the content you get in the games very diverse and very vast. In the first one you also get monkey fights, monkey targets, where you jump off a ramp and glide to a target, monkey billiards, monkey golf and monkey bowling. In Super Monkey Ball 2, you get a new story, new levels, more content overall, and more minigames, and refined minigames. Many people praise the second Super Monkey Ball game to be the best out of them all, giving it almost perfect scores. So have that in mind when you choose the games. And there are so many minigames and so many game mechanics in those minigames that it feels like you have a compilation of games inside the same game. Meaning, what I mean is that you have the Super Monkey Ball puzzles that are the classic Monkey Ball, but the mini games makes makes it feel like you have a party game inside the already good puzzle game Super Monkey Ball, which makes it a compilation of games. It it makes it feel like 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 it's a compilation of games, not just one game. That's how content-rich Super Monkey Ball feels. And Super Monkey Ball Adventure has a stronger plot. This game wasn't made by Sega, it was made by Traveler's Tale. And you know the game company, what type of games they make. Well, the story element is prominent here too. It combines the levels from the first two with an action-adventure type of gameplay where you go and talk to people, or, well, monkeys, and explore a big world around you. It has free roam and it has some very nice looking and creative levels. You also get mini games in Super Monkey Ball Adventure which have differences and there are some new ones too. But the main curse of Super Monkey Ball Adventure is its adventure. It's the somewhat RPG element of the game which is awesome. I mean I, I like the game a lot. Even if the fan community is mixed about this aspect, some disconsider it and are hateful towards it, and others like it more than the original Super Monkey Ball game. I'm in the second category. I like Super Monkey Ball Adventure, but I love the first two games too. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible click the join button and choose one of the perks if you want you can follow me on twitch instagram or discord i've left the links to those in the video description and if you want to see another video of mine just wait till i stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos i've made thanks for watching